Hello, this is Tyler with Phoenix Custom Systems. Thanks for watching this video today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to access your cameras uh, through web-based and uh, how we're going to do that is using Internet Explorer. Um, so at the bottom here, you can see this right here, this Internet Explorer, not this one. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And for me, um, mine automatically pops up to my um, internal IP address right here. Um, but for what you'll do, you'll actually type in your DDNS, which I gave you at time of install. You'll type it right in here. And then once you do that, you'll come over here and you'll put in your username and password. Now the first time that you um, go to bring this up, you're gonna have to download a plugin. So you download that plugin and you may have to um, restart the browser. So you just close it out and then reopen it after you've downloaded the plugin. After you downloaded the plugin, um, what you're gonna do uh, is you're gonna hit live view and nothing's gonna pop up for you, not like this. So what you'll end up doing is you go over here to configure. Configure. And we're going to make it so this all automatically pops up for you. So what you do is you go up here to local. And then this is going to be set to no. We want to start yes, mainstream, and auto start live view. Something else you can do is you can come down here and when you save recorded files, you can go in here and, and browse and you can make these all uh, video or wherever you want your um your recordings to save to you just go in there and select each one where you want them to go to so it's easy for you to find after you do that you'll hit save and say save succeeded all right and then you can go back into live view and they'll all auto populate like this for you all right now if you have really slow internet um, what I suggest for people to do is uh, maybe have some of these on substream so if you hover over this piece right here you get substream and mainstream so the difference between substream and mainstream is when you go to view it um, you're gonna have a nice crisp picture um, on mainstream and then on substream it's gonna be a little bit blurrier um, when you enlarge it but it's gonna be uh, a smoother uh, stream for you now if you want to enlarge this you can just double click on an image and it will expand to full screen for you and um, you'll be able to see what you want to see in there now if you want to do any operations inside of the screen unfortunately what you do is you go down here hit the single screen and then you can say you know what I want to see my sidewalk you just double click on this and then it will bring up this view for you and you just do the same one through there <clears throat> um, now if you go down here to this magnifying glass you hit this and you'll use your spinning wheel to zoom in and zoom out and then once you zoom in, you can just drag it around however you want. And then uh, we have to hit the digital zoom again um, to make it go away. Now, if this had audio on it, you would just click this and it would unmute it. But right now, this one does not have audio on it. Um, what else we got here? We got the record option. So this would start recording if you're seeing something and you want to record it, you could hit record and it will automatically start recording and save it to your, uh, to your computer. And then over here is a snapshot if you want to take a snapshot. Um, if you wanted to stop all live views, that's what that does right there. So if you just hit that, um, it's going to stop all your live views. All right. So let's go into playback. So if I... All the ones with these little dashes right here, that's where they're, how, how far it's saved back to. So let's say I wanted to see what happened on the 24th. I would just simply hit the 24th and then I'll come over here and just double click front door. And then I come down here and hit play. And it's gonna go ahead and start playing the front door for me. These little tick marks are movements um, every time it picks up motion. So this right here, if you grab the top part right here is going to drag it to whatever time this is all in military time so 0700 is seven o'clock so if I just double click over here oh, I'm sorry I'm thinking of a different application so we have to drag it to where we want and then drop it so this right here you just drag to the closest one and it'll go to the next movement so what happens if you see something you want to capture um, you can again take a snapshot 
you can start clipping. Uh, what that means is that, uh, let me make this bigger. Um, what that means start clipping is it's gonna start recording from the time you tell it to. So if I hit it now, it's gonna sit there and record until I see what I want. And then I hit stop clipping and it tells me where it saves right over here. And to view these, you wanna use the VLC player. You can download that. Uh, it's a free download, just type in VLC. Um, and I'll do it at the end to, to show you where to go. Um, now, if you want to stop the recording, uh, rewind, uh, fast forward, pause, um, and so on. So, and then you get your single frame, which is gonna slow it down. So if you're trying to capture this car coming out, you can hit single frame, and it's gonna take it frame by frame, which is either 15, sec 15 frames per second or 30 frames per second, or however you wanna do it. All right, and then see, we can um, slow it down. I'm sorry, that, that basically is rewinding um, the, the player as it was going. Um, all right, so what else do we have here? Let's go ahead and go into configuration. What we can do in here. So we already did local system. You can go in here and change the device name. Then you have all your sub menus up here. So you got your time settings. So you can go in here and change your time. It should be set up automatically to change for you. So you shouldn't really have to worry about it, but it is there for you if you wanted to. Um, this is your resolution, your output resolution um, to your device. So um, if you wanted a higher resolution or a lower resolution, depending on uh, what all these are here, uh, what you have it plugged into. Um, user management. If you want to create users, all you do is go in here, add, you create the username, whether they're an operator or a user, um, and then you'll give them a password, and it gives you your um, specifications for what your password needs to be. Now, in here, you can go through and select all of the permissions that you want to give this user. Um, and you can even go down to, let me find it here. Uh, log upgrade shut down. Uh, remote live view. So if we hit this, it brings up all the cameras that you have. And if you want your user to view only specific cameras, um, you can give them that uh, authorization to only view specific cameras that you deem necessary for them to be able to see. Um, and then after that, make sure you go down here and hit OK after you've created all your information up here. All right, and then also you can go in here and hit um, one that you have and then modify it. So if you want to change your admin password or any other buddy, anybody, anyone else's password, you can do that as well. All right, um, network, don't worry about that part. Video and audio, um, you can go in here and change your resolution, your bit rate, um, video quality. Um, I've set this all up for you already, um, so I suggest not messing with it unless you know what you're doing, because um, you could mess up how this thing records. Um, so if you know what you're doing, feel free, but if not, then I'd say just leave it alone. Now your image quality, you can go in here and you can control your brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue, um, your basic stuff, kind of like your TV. You also have your OSD, which is um, these things down here. So you can change the camera name. Um, and then you can say, if you want to, if you don't want to display the name or display the date, it'll disappear those or however you want to do that. Um, then you also have flashing or not flashing. Um, storage, um, and here, how I have mine set up and how I set yours up more than likely. Uh, so it pre-records five seconds before the motion happened and 30 seconds after the motion happened. If you ever decide that you want it longer, um, either way, before or after, you can go in there and change that and then hit OK. And then um, you want to hit save. Now, if you wanted to copy that on all cameras, you just hit copy, select all, and then hit OK. Um, let's see what else we have in here that you might need. Storage manager. Um, this is where you would format, don't do it right now, but this is what you would format um, if you want to totally erase your hard drive and start new. Um, you just go in here, hit this button here, and hit format. This will erase all of your data. This will erase all of your current data that you have on there right now, and you will start from scratch. You will lose everything. So only do this if you want to erase everything. 
Um, that's pretty much it for this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the basics of what you need. If there's anything I've missed, oh, you know what? I lied. PTZ, if you do have a PTZ, um, over here are your PTZ controls. So you can move it any which way you want to with these operations up here. And then this is your zoom. Okay. And zoom out. And then these are your presets. If you set up presets or I set up presets for you, um, you'll have these on here. So basically you just hit say let's call 42 and this is your call button. And then it would automatically start doing whatever preset you have. Um, this is your patrol one, patrol two. So I don't think I do have this one set up. So yeah, this is my patrol path. Um, and either I've set this up for you or you set it up. Um, and that's your basics of your PTZ control. Um, now, one other thing I want to show you actually in configuration, sorry for going back and forth, but I just remembered something. Um, if you want to, if you have an IP based system, um, you can actually go in to system and then camera management. And if you're on your local network, you can go over here and you can click on one of these here and it will bring you to your login screen for each individual camera. Now each individual camera is set up um, just like your um, DVR is. So as you can see, you have your live view, your playback, which your playback's not gonna work unless you have an SD card embedded inside the IP camera. So don't worry about that or that, um, but you do have your configurations. So in here you have a lot more adjustments of um, your view. So if you go down here to advanced configuration, um, video and audio you have more um, more settings than you do on the DVR and then image is really where you can play with things in here so um, on a few of my cameras it's, it's dark most of the time like in my garage um, so what I can do is I can go over here to my night and day switch and I can either have it on auto I can adjust the sensitivity of how sensitive it is um, to the light changing on and off, the filtering times, how fast it goes, and then the smart IR. Um, but if, if it is really dark, uh, wherever you are, you have this camera, what you can do is you can hit auto and then you can hit schedule. And then you can pick your start time and end time of when, when the IRs stay off and when they come on. So this could really be useful to you if you have you know a really dim restaurant or again, if you have it in your garage or somewhere, um, not well lit so um, that is a, a pretty cool feature that you can mess with and then all these other ones this right here WDR um, that's your backlight so if you had a really strong shadow here and it was really bright out here and it was um, dimming each other out you can mess with your wide depth dynamic range and it will brighten up I'll do it for you real quick just to show you so it's gonna brighten it up and take away shadows we don't really have a dark contrast right here because where the Sun is right now um, but for me, I find mine was good over here. So you just have to play with it at that time where you have that, that dark casting shadow. Um, and then, you know, again, your, your basic stuff here. Um, but it's, it's just more advanced than what the DVR has. Um, and I believe now that is truly it. If I missed anything or you guys want to know how to do anything else, um, Please write in the comments and let me know uh, if I miss something and I will uh, update the, uh, the video for you. Thank you for joining my video today. Have a great day.